Hey guys, you here, aka Gene. So obviously a lot of things have changed to do with the way we see GTA 5 racing and there's different philosophies behind it because there's so much variety and freedom that this game provides. There's so many different ways to look at racing, I guess. And personally for me, I've experienced it all and I've sort of settled down to this point where this sort of racing is what I personally like. Of course, I'm not the one that can speak for everyone else. Everyone's got their own style and preference and the way they see things. So what you're watching now is my second track of the brand new playlist that I've been working on, as you guys know, the new era. You've already seen Black Mamba, but I'm considering maybe to change that track because recently when given this uh, playlist a go, that track didn't really work well with more than two players. So that's the thing you need to sort of like come into mind when, when you make a track, you need to really realize that, all right, so if you're given 10 or more players, would this track work well? And that's the thing about this track on the other hand, you know, I thought would not really work well when I actually made it because I already used up 50 props for the start finish line. And this is the only track that I really focused on the start finish line to make it unique as possible because the one that Rockstar provides isn't really all that appealing and it's quite frequently used anyway. So I wanted to try out a brand new design. I'm sure when I posted a video a few months back, I've given this as an example of a start finish line that you can do. So this took up actually 50 props. So like I said, I wasn't sure with the other 50 props remaining if I'll be able to make a circuit out of that location or this particular location. And it, this route here worked out to be really well. At first I was speculating with the highway section, would it be a little bit boring? But with the balance of the hairpin <laughs> and that there, I'm not sure about still, um, you know, I do like this concept and a lot of people seem to enjoy it over the Black Mamba track. And at first I was confused as to how, but then as the battles came along, it was absolutely awesome. Given that obviously muscle car racing is absolutely awesome as well, which is the one thing I want to talk about in this video. But before we get into that, I just want to say this track is called Finish Grand Prix and it's only played in the night settings so that the props take into full effect with the start finish line as well as all these um, generators here with providing the light, of course, within the machinery section on the content creator. Pretty much makes it suitable for some exciting night racing without making it too dark. And the track is clearly visible with each of the corners having a light there to show the precise apex. So here's the thing though, uh, I'm not very good at track names, right? So most of my names are just sort of part of the track, something to do with the track at least. Because I make so many tracks, it's all to do with experimenting different routes of course. And speaking of muscle car racing, recently we have stopped using supercars often and now sort of mixing things up with all the classes. Uh, you know, to do with racing, of course, you know, SUV, maybe sedans, coupe, now even, you know, muscles and compacts, all sorts, just to get some variety because, of course, doing the same thing over and over again can get boring. But we do sports and supers now, time to time, I'm mixing everything. So this playlist got a mixture of different classes to do with specific classes, of course. So there's one track part of the playlist that's only to do with compacts and works really well with that class rather than let's say supers or sports. So the track's designs have also now been put more into sort of deeper thought process to do with other classes as well and taking that into consideration. So definitely variety is what we're aiming for now. And uh, it's working out really well at the moment. The place went well, but like I said, there's a few things I want to put into it. I want to do one sort of endurance type race where it's extremely long and mixing it with different lengths as well. So you get a nice balance of a decent playlist at least for you guys to try rather than the previous existing one that we've been playing for many months now all to do with the same area with the same concept and design nothing much went into the props just track routes and you know each track was roughly the same length as well like i said two and a half minutes uh, if, you know for our entire playlist it just got a little bit boring after doing it for an extremely long time so uh yeah this race was actually very very interesting quite close as well you can see the use of this highway really give it a nice little breather and you get all the multiple corners and, and short track yet again and this tr track really works well with muscle cars to be honest muscle car class is quite an awesome class to race with actually if you take into consideration of the dominator and the dukes it's got a nice balance between the two of course to do well with the dominator you have to really have awesome car control whereas with the dukes the performance is there to keep up with the dominator but not much having to pay attention to that particular car Rather just make sure you're on the racing line and really pushing it. So it's a nice balance between the two. But if you even, even if you exclude that, there's so many other cars within this car class that you can race with each other. And it's extremely close with each other as well. You know, so it's absolutely sick. 
of course um this particular race you can see cars all over the race and also even the start finish line from here looks absolutely sick that basically i've done the machinery yet again along with the prop designs it took me a while but like i said i made a video about that and how i did that and i also do have quite a few other techniques for content creators that i'm planning to make a little video about so you guys may find that useful when you're creating tracks and on that note of tracks i'm working on a nice series to do with top five tracks and custom made tracks i'm currently reviewing from you guys of course like i mentioned and i want to provide all the custom races that we personally race to you guys that are sort of interested in this style of racing of course other tracks provided by the community is what something that i'm going to try and put together on a spreadsheet so there's so many tracks out there available for you guys to try at your own time and that's something that i'm aiming to do as well but exciting stuff coming up for, i wanted to sort of let you guys know coming up this saturday i'm taking part in an event hosted by apex stalkers as a crew that race in a similar sort of uh, uh style that we do and basically essentially the style was inspired by those guys because you know sticking to the road and really sticking to the racing line is something that has sort of ch opened up my mind a little bit to gta racing from how we used to race you know going over constant curbs and whatnot and it's nice it's a nice change it certainly is nice experience this sort of racing and I'm just hoping that more people see it this way as well. Of course, it's something to do with completely down to opinions. But that's, that's the one thing that keeps this game going, I guess. But certainly, here's the thing, though. Uh, with this event, by the way, on Saturday, uh, I'm basically going to be streaming it on my Twitch. And it's going to have qualifiers and whatnot to do on the same day. It's going to be three different cars within the same class. It's going to be supercar race within the dockyard areas. And I'll be part of the Turismo team. It's going to be sort of a team event. And I'm going to have another partner. I'm not sure who it is. Uh, and another car. And that's going to be so sick, man. So expect to see that. It's going to be a proper organized event. You know, proper sort of formation lap and starting and all of that. Rolling start. And pit stops, of course, is something I also want to talk about. It's been out for a while with pit stops. But that's something that's been reintroduce I guess and being used in the appropriate manner because obviously pit stops are something that requires a little bit more discipline and speaking of discipline man that's something that uh, we've been lacking in GTA 5 quite a bit you know people are not willing to adapt to these requirements to play the game like this way you know they just accept the game the way it is and say you know what you have to play the game this way because this is GTA 5 it's all about guns and it's all about killing people because that's what GTA 5 says you have to do and not because you're saying what you want to do to have fun so that's the initial concept of the mentality of the general community that's 95 percent of them I guess but you know hey it is what it is you know you can you can make this game essentially how you want it to be because it's near enough a sandbox that you could say uh, not as much as Minecraft, obviously, but, you know, with content creator is one example. There's so many different examples, man. Everyone's got a different, like I say, a different way of seeing racing. So, that's another thing. You know, some people enjoy constantly going over curbs and going for the quickest lap times. Other people, you know, stick to the road and stuff like that. It's different, different ways of seeing it because there's no, there's no limits, I guess you could say. And, um, yeah, man. So, that's, that's interesting, obviously. Now, looking at racing, everybody's so, like, respectful, I guess. You know, not not as much as we'd expect, but it's, it's taking a little bit, obviously, given the rules and restrictions and all of that, you know, it puts a responsibility on people, I guess, and being ready for that before a race and stuff like that. It's, it's nice. It's a nice involvement of people within the community. I'm all, I'm all for the community, man. I don't give a two shits about uh, anything else, you know, as long as people... And play together in, in this manner and it's going to be extremely fun and enjoyable and uh, that, that's basically initial sort of target to be me and brophy and you know we're pretty much the sort of uh, only people trying to aim for this on the youtube side anyway but i mean there are so many different communities on gta 5 uh, that race you know so many different styles man so definitely you know keep an eye out for that by the way if you notice the finish there was extremely close to me and doodle when the sean sneaked up for second place after a little mistake that Doodle made on the final corner. So, this race is definitely interesting. Like I said, I didn't know at first, man. But give it a go anyway. There's a link to the entire playlist in the description below. You can find the race there when you play it during the playlist. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Expect to see the event on Saturday. I'll see you guys on my stream. Show you so knocking that piece. Yeah! Little bickle that coop. Coop racing.
have a question. Let's say that I'm in, in the lead, but a car is gaining on me on a straight line. Would I be allowed to block him?